Now, I don't want to depress you today, but I want to talk about depression. Because over the last couple of videos we've been talking about how if we throw ourselves into our own lives we can make a big splash, create big waves, create the kind of life that we actually want to lead. But conversely, we've talked about worry and how worry actually has the exact opposite effect to the one that we would desire for ourselves in life. We talked about stress, how stress actually is simply the product of flawed thinking. And today I want to say a few words about depression, which is kind of worry and stress mixed together and given a little injection of speed. St stress is flawed thinking. Worry is flawed thinking. Depression is flawed thinking. Now there will be some people out there probably in the pharma industry, who will disagree with me, but there is a growing body of opinion in both European and American psychology and psychiatry that simply comes to the conclusion that we should treat depression as what it is, a flawed thinking process. As one particular expert says, depression is not an illness, it's an emotion. An emotion is simply the product of thought. You might indeed also be forgiven for thinking that what I'm saying is a little crazy given that clearly there is such a thing as chemical or clinical depression. The chemicals in the brain are imbalanced. But what controls the chemicals in the brain? Is it thought? Again, that school of thought actually strongly suggests that everything comes from flawed thinking. We should bear in mind in exploring the extent to which depression is actually just flawed thinking gone a little crazier than usual, that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy, which is essentially a meditative process, has an amazing track record in the treatment of chronic depression. Research has established that mindfulness-based cognitive therapy is three times more effective in the treatment of chronic depression than any pharmacological alternative. The point is simply this. Negative thought, and we're all wired to think negative thoughts, can lead to worry, can lead to stress, can lead to ruminative thought. In other words, I keep thinking the same thoughts. And that is the rocky road towards depression. Now, I've met plenty of clients over the last few years who have told me that somebody told them that they were suffering from depression. And when we actually sat down to talk about it, we discovered that essentially all they were doing was going through a patterned form of thinking, which led to a patterned form of behaviour, which led to a patterned way of seeing the world, which was misdiagnosed as something that it wasn't. The point is that everything I've just said started with thought. All the problems in our world, in your world, in my world, in the world at large, start with misguided or misdirected thought. You and I have a load of misdirected thoughts in our own head that have been lodged there since we were young children. They won't go away. But what we can do is stop giving them our attention by, and I said this in the last couple of videos, anchoring our attention in the reality of the here and now. Not only does that allow the thought pass by, it actually brings us into the present moment. And what you do in the present moment creates the next present moment. And on and on and on, it creates your life. If you are going to make waves in your life, you have to dive into your life now, in this present 